Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Swift Great Customs, and today I wanted to share a few tips that are very important. The first one is to save your files. Save your files often, and when you save your files, then you can come in and you can make alterations to them and make alternative designs very easy. So I'm going to show you a few ways you can do that. I showed in a previous video how you can create your own mini desktop calendar and customize it with different designs for each month. It is pretty simple. It just takes a few steps and then you repeat the steps for every single month. But I wanted to share in this video how you can take this even farther. So once you have your design work all done for your first file, you can easily take the pieces that you have created and you can change those out. So my daughter saw my mini calendar and she said, Mom, I want a snowman for January. Okay, I can do that. So I have created copies of the pieces that I used originally, which was a great idea when I thought about it, but I can take part of my January file and I can use this. So I'm gonna control C, control V, and I'm gonna make a copy over here. Once I have the basics of the design work, I can break this file apart. You can see that it didn't actually copy it. I'm going to con control C, control V. Now it copied it. So I have this design, but now I need to change this to a snowman. That's not a problem. I make copies over here of my template file, and then you can't see it because it's white, but I have a copy here, control C, control V. Those are all grouped together. I'm just going to ungroup them. And then I can pull that December away. So now I have my white square. So now I can take this January, which is a copy of my original. I can make sure if it's still grouped together, I'm gonna right click, ungroup. And here is my January with my snowflake. I need the January, but I don't need that snowflake. So I am going to right click, choose order, bring to front. And then I'm gonna ungroup this. I'm gonna delete that snowflake. And then now I have a new basic calendar. Now you could create your own template file just with the calendar pieces if you wanted to. And that's maybe what I should have done in the first place, but maybe that's my next step. Once I have that, I can delete this. I don't need that offset anymore. And I can just go through the same steps of creating with a snowman. So I'll just go through that really quickly here. I'll go into Leonardo Design Library and find a snowman. And personally, I really like this snowman face. So even though she wanted a full body one, I think I'm gonna select this, choose open design. And then I'm gonna bring this in. Now this will allow me to show you one other thing. There is no background to this design. So what I can simply do is come down and I can create my, my own. So I'm going to just use a circle and come to my color pick window and make this white. And I can come in here to my color palette. That's not what I wanted. This right here choose white, click apply, and then I can size this as I want. So I can completely customize this and add my little snowman face, bring to front, and let's zoom in a little bit. So I'll surprise her with this little snowman face. And then when I have it how I'd like, I'm gonna center this, and then I'm going to group it together. And then I have my design ready to go. So I'm going to zoom out here a little bit and then move up my screen. I'm gonna move that snowman up towards the top. I actually need it over here. Check out that video. It is a little link in the above or in the description below. I'm going to bring to front. And then what I wanna do is I want to group my calendar backing and my calendar together and I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to bring it to front and then select both the gray template box and my calendar. Align middle, align bottom, and now I have that. 
So here for January, I'm gonna probably resize this down just a little bit. And that template box, snowman's in back, I'm gonna bring it to the front. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Group, whoops, undo, undo. Group two items, I need to order, bring to front, and then resize this how I'd like it. Now, in this case, maybe what I do, I have the snowman, I'm gonna add to it. Let's see, was there a top hat? hat. Maybe I can find a top hat. So I'm just gonna select this one here and I can alter it a little bit. Let's zoom in here. I'm going to click on it, ungroup, and then see what I have. I'm gonna ungroup it again. I have a blue and my white stars are on top and so are my little bars. So what I actually wanna do is I'm gonna control Z. I'm gonna select the stars and the bars. I'm gonna select the red hat and the, and the blue. And I wanna move that off. Now I can select all of those, hit delete, change this little hat to black and the band to white. Pick this here, choose white. Uh, maybe I choose red, let's do red, red. Okay, group that together, size it down a little bit and let's see how it looks with our snowman. Okay, it's behind, right click, order, bring to front. So much for another quick tutorial. I think I want to bring it down a little bit, make it a little squatty. And then I'm going to center it. And <laughs> looks kind of goofy. So you can play around with it. She'll like it. Don't like that. Ungroup or undo. And I'm gonna move the hat, oops. Move this a little bit over. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna select my snowman, my hat, and control G to group, which put it behind. That's okay. Control G to group. I'm gonna right click and bring it to front again. And then I'm going to place this where I would like it. I wanted to add a little bit of um, dimension to that just because the snowman's white. So now what I'm going to do is create my offset and weld my offset to my background to create my calendar. Make sure to check the link in the description below for the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your calendar. There's one more thing that I wanted to share, share with you. So here I have this. Make sure to save your file along the way. Once you have your calendar designed, even though you designed it at a, I designed this at a three by three square and the maximum height of four inches. Now that you have your design, I'm gonna control C, come over to a new design tab, control V, and then if you wanted to make it bigger, you can just do that. Make it as big or as small as you want. So let's take a look at the second design and the larger calendar size that I created here. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Let me know if you have any comments. I just wanted to share a couple of things that once you have your design work done in the Cesar Leonardo Design Studio software, there are always a lot of options that you can do, including changing the size, and with this calendar, customizing it even more once you have all those template files and you can easily swap those out for different items. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.